Hello and welcome to this clip looking through a rather problem solving applied and unstructured exam question which allows you to deduce or ask you to deduce a compound structure from selected data and information. So this is our question. I'm going to take each question um, one at a time. So you need to ensure that the molar mass, the molecular formula and the structure of the compound are all attempted. Got a crow in the background helping me here. So the first bit, at a pressure of 1.07 times 10 to the 5 pascals at 30 degrees C, 1.327 grams of compound X is a gas with a volume of 186 centimeters cubed. So our step one is uh, working out the molar mass. So to do this, we want to find N in PV equals NRT. So doing that rearrangement shows your first piece of thinking. So you get credit for that. Now you need to convert any units from those provided if necessary, remembering pascals, Kelvin and meters cubed. So one of them was in the correct unit, but two of them weren't. So I had to convert my temperature and I had to convert my volume as well. So those values go into the rearranged version of PV equals NRT, which gives me 0 0.0079 moles. I'm keeping my calculator value. So you can see the dot dot there signifies that. So this mole value in the calculator value and the mass that's provided, which is 1.327 grams, goes into the moles and mass triangle which allows me to work out 168 grams per mole. So I'm going to tell you why I've done it to um, three sig figs or a whole number in a moment. So putting all my workings underneath the question in the answer space, if we go and have a look at the periodic table, you'll see that the relative atomic masses for hydrogen, carbon, oxygen and fluorine are all given as whole numbers. So I need to put 168.0. There's no decimals there. So the 167.96 dot 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 needs to be rounded up to 168. So the next part of the question gives us some specific information we need to use. So X has six fluorine atoms. The structure must contain a carbon fluorine bond and an ether functional group. Now you don't need to know about an ether functional group, which is this here. You just need to know for the purpose of this question that you have an oxygen bonded to two carbons either side. And the chirality aspect means one of the carbon atoms must be attached to four different atoms or groups. So having a bit of a play around with those three criteria gives you this structure or this structure, so both of those would work. So either of them are acceptable as an answer. So therefore your molecular formula is C3H2F60. And I've just highlighted the chiral carbons. Okay, thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.